everybody welcome back Ruben Texas all water fishing aka funk soul brother <laughs> I know I know I got issues anyway I'm getting ready to head out here probably like in the next hour I looked out my wrist to see what time it was anyway I'm getting ready to head out here within the next hour I am meeting a friend of mine Eric Lone Star Yak fishing link description below in case you want to go check him out um we only have a sorry I'm on my phone but we only have a about an hour maybe an hour and a half to fish Eric's getting ready to go out and do a little hog hunting do a cast and blast we're gonna head over to uh, a military base um, right across from Seawolf Park so my thinking is if the fishing is gonna be good here then the possibility the fishing is going to be good at Seawolf Park as well. So I just want to do a fast video, a quick video, run over there, fish with Eric for like an hour, hour and a half. Come back, edit this video, and post it for you guys to kind of give you a quick fishing report, let you know what is going on uh, out there on the water, um, you know, before this weekend starts. Because I know a lot of people are gearing up and ready to go fish for the weekend. So, you know, that being said, it is flounder seeding is... It is flounder season, it is a flounder run, and hopefully y'all catch me out there hooking up. Dang. Sorry, I ain't playing. What are you <laughs> doing out here, bruh? You got him? Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, that's nice. Woo! Oh yeah. Huh? Oh yeah, that's a nice one right there. Woo! Taking him for a walk, taking your fish for a walk. No, he's following me home. <laughs> I think that's a nice one. Right? Yeah, it looks like the 20s. Good. Nice. Yeah. Still keeper. Dude, you didn't have that in the mouth. He had that in the bottom of the jaw. That's fat. Yeah. Got a little curve to him. I've been trying to let if I can if I can look at him and most likely be like, oh man, that's a female. Yeah. I'm pretty much gonna let him go. Ah, missed my first one. He had it but let go. Let's see if we can get him again. He was there. Just watching Eric and Blake hook up a left and right out here, man. They're driving me nuts. Because I can't, uh, I can't see it across there, across the path of a flounder. So I just switched up one to tandem. I'm not talking to you right now. <laughs> I had one on right here, man. I lost him. Got him to bite again. Oh, man, this is. <laughs> I'll take it though, even if it's a little chipper. Yeah, I felt them bite a minute ago, so let's put it right back down and you know, he just couldn't resist. Couldn't resist that gulp. Oh. Quick release. Yeah, a little quick release of a chipper. Um, first fish of the day, he got that. Got him on the gulp. We'll see if we can keep going. Been watching these other guys hook up left and right and um, Fish are here. Just gotta make sure I cross their path. So, like I said before, flounders love structure. So around here, you have structure all the way around. So basically, what you want to do is get your try to get your lure as close as you possibly can to the wall, to the structure, and uh, 
you know, just jig it. Walk slowly, jig, 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 jig. And uh, it's quite funny because you could turn right back around and um, they can literally be a flounder on the spot that you just finished, just finished fishing. But it felt good to get my first one out of the way. There's number two. There we go. All right. That one's a little, that one's bigger. That one came on that white. Uh, and that gope. This guy right here. Probably be maybe about 13, maybe 14 inches. Smaller guy. Look like I got him right in the eye, but we're gonna let him swim on and keep doing his thing. So we get a bigger one to commit. That one was on white. First one was on pink. So in all reality, you've only been here for about maybe 15 minutes or so, 20 minutes. But you know, you can find them in structure. You can find them all over the place this time of year. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. That's a good one right there. This one right here. You probably would have kept. I'm gonna get the leader. I'm gonna throw this in the trash and go get us retie on it. Go get a. That broke off, man. All right. So what do we have here, Eric? This is. Okay. So this is a bone glow from Caden. Okay. With a little bit of juice on it y'all from my channel you know what juice means this is a purple haze from am lures okay quarter ounce jig head eighth ounce jig head all right i tied up my fancy double uni knot all right it's got two actual lines of mono tied to a double uni what's this mono it's 17 pound suffix elite it's this stuff right here okay all right well let's put it to the test See if we can uh see who gets one first. I got a five inch Caden, you got two four inches. So Eric's been Eric's been over here tearing them up. What what fish are you on? What number? I'm on number six. He's on number six, so we're gonna if you can't beat him, join him. <laughs> you know, and this this technique can be using can be used anywhere where there's structure. Not just here at the base, but boat ramps. Any kind of landings, any kind of piers, any place you have structure, you just want to get it as close as possible. And then we'll just jig it, just walk slow. Hey, double up! <clears throat> so, Eric and I got a double. Right on the side of his mouth. He's gonna be. If I had to say, he'd be right about 15, 14, 15, maybe even 16. But we're going to let him go. about the cookie cutter size you know just spit it am lure just spit it out yeah they're gonna they're all kind of been that cookie cutter size but for me around that 14 to 16 inch mark this one's somewhere in there as well 
you know what I'll take it you know I enjoy fishing get out here and biting oh, keep on keep on jigging jigging Oh my god. That was a nice one too, man. Dude, that was at least the 18. Dang it, and that's how it's You got him? Yeah. Ah! Okay. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Nice. Look at that. Five inch magnum from Caden Lures. Chicken. That's 20 right there. Yeah. From here to there, that's 20. I need this one. So you're looking at that's about 18 right there. 19. Look at that flounder. Solid flounder right there. You got that board over there? <laughs> thou shalt not have lippers, thou shalt pay. <laughs> oh, how did mine get in the vault? Oh, my line's way over there. I didn't That's realize awesome. that. There you go. Got out the way. Got, got him. Another one. That one's a little bigger. I got a little bit of the AM lure. You got a little bit of mark right there on himself. A little bit of nick right there. Somebody got him. But yeah, this guy's this guy's thick. Nice guy right here. I'm gonna let him go. Strong. Very strong. Nice. 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 All right, so that's gonna do it for me. You know, we just came out here real fast, spent about an hour, maybe a little more. Um, I don't know, caught a handful of fish. But, you know, this is the time of season, you know. This is the time of season to be fishing those tandems, fishing on the bottom, going after those flounders, uh, tandem lures, go AM lures. I mean, if they're biting and they're out there, they're pretty much gonna hit on anything. So get out there, get on the water, see what you can do, and hopefully you hook up. Don't forget to like, subscribe, Leave a comment below. Um, if you've made it this far in the video, I do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Hopefully next time, catch me hooking up. Thanks. Get away from me, dude. Get out of here, dude. Are you serious? Jerk. Give me the, give me your reel. Like your kid. Here, here, reel this one in. If I wasn't a nice guy, I would push you in. 